The next memorial tribute is to Evelyn Kramsler. Evelyn was a woman who had a passion for life. Her wisdom, her loyal friendship was always greatly appreciated. What makes our shul special are the many wonderful people in our shul, and Evelyn was a person whose devotion to Beis Torah and to the people of Beis Torah was exemplary. Mm -hmm. Please watch the next video. Last week, in Pirkei Elvos, we read the opening mission to the second parak. The opening mission has Rebbe tell us the proper path for one to choose in life. Ezui Derek Yesharo, Shiovalo Adam. And Rebbe tells us, Kol Shi Tiferes Leosel, Fisiferes Lovan Adam. That which brings glory to he who does so, and glory to man. I'm often fond of citing the Ben Ishchai's perspective on this Mishnah, where the Ben Ishchai states that there's two ways one can approach Torah and mitzvahs. One is a way that makes everybody else want to run as far and fast as they can from such a life, because the person presents it as misery, as drudgery, as difficulty. The other one is a way that one can present it as something glorious, something of beauty, something of greatness. Evelyn Kranzler was an integral part of our shul and our community for all these years. Her spearheading the various committees in the shul, Bikr Cholim and Chesed, was not a labor or a duty but simply an outgrowth of her very nature. She was kindness and the embodiment of compassion. She was caring, she was love, she was friendship. But most important, she was Tiferes. She was the beauty of Torah and Mitzvahs. When you looked at Evelyn, Cl Evelyn Kranzler, you saw a woman who was part of the world and part of the Torah world. A woman with vision, a woman with insight, a woman with clarity, and a woman who embodied the values of Torah in a way that made you want to do that yourself. She built a family, she built a community, together with her, her husband, Moish, she helped build our shul. And she did so by leading by example. Simply living a Torah life that made people say, whatever she has, I want that. Whatever she gives to her children, I want to give to my children. Whatever community she's a part of, I want to be a part of. My family, my children on a personal level, we're blessed to be close with her, to learn from her, and to take her example. And that glory that she brought has led generations to pursue their own life of Torah and their own life of mitzvot. And it's my hope and my prayer that we can follow her lead and live our own lives of the glory of Torah and mitzvot, the beauty of Torah and mitzvot, so that we too can pass it on to future generations.
I'm going to read the inscription on the plaque. I think more than the video speaking for itself, but our memories and the feelings in our hearts really what speaks for us tonight. Presented to Rabbi Moshe Kranzler in memory of your beloved wife and our treasured friend, Evelyn Kranzler, who will always hold a special place in our hearts for her graciousness and kindness. Congregation based Torah, 2016, 5776.